All right, terrific guys. All right, we're gonna make a start. So, hopefully everyone's feeling, uh, plenty, got plenty of energy today. Um, we're gonna do our strength program, okay? So again, welcome to Blues from Home, Building Better Athletes. We're gonna do the strength portion of our session. Good to see some great numbers again tonight. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the content we've been putting out. The, uh, the hoop fit with Kathy on a Wednesday and Abby on the Sunday morning. Um, the stuff, the sort of learning and personal development stuff as well with, with Harmsy on Tuesday night. I don't know if a few of you have attended that. And, uh, and, and the sort of uh, staying healthy in lockdown sessions on a, on a Monday. And, and um, we did some cooking or I did some food prep on Sunday, which was a bit of fun as well. So. Uh, stay tuned to that schedule. There's going to be fresh new stuff each week. We're looking at some new programs, hoping to have some um, some new coaches and some new players involved. We've got um, a session tomorrow as well, a, a ball handling and skill session with Courtney Wilkins, which which is not to be missed. That'll be terrific as well. All right, let's uh, let's get cracking with our mobility. So foam roller. We're going to start. Uh, you can use a wall or you can use a couch. We're doing our ankle mobility. So again, we're down in our lunge position here. Jump down into your lunge position. You wanna have your big toe uh, about 10 centimeters away from the roller. And we're just keeping that heel down as best as we possibly can and leaning that knee in towards our foam roller now. Leaning that knee in towards our foam roller, that's good. Perfect. Excellent. You want to do probably about five of those on each leg, rocking back and forth and swap legs. So left foot now, again, just warming up those uh, muscles of our calves and our Achilles. Again, make sure you've got your speaker set to active speaker so that I stay on the screen today. As you can see, I've got the, I've got the program up there as well for you guys. That can be accessed again on the calendar. There's a link below where the video will be uploaded or where you click to, to view the meeting. You can jump on there and you can download that program and print that off and have that at home. We'll always go through each week of that. So we're into week two now. So we've got a few more reps that we've got to get through. Chuck your foam roller aside, we've done that now, or, or if you're using the couch. And then we've got our Spider-Man squat um, sort of mobility, hip mobility. So again, we're bending at the hip here, bending at the hips coming down. We're wrapping our hand underneath our big toe. All right, and then we're bringing our hips down as low as we can. Okay, so now my elbows, see my elbows here on the inside of my knees, sort of pushing outwards there, and I can feel that little groin stretch there already, which is great. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep my left hand under my left big toe. I'm gonna release my right hand and turn and look up at the roof. This is where you wanna do some deep breathing here if you can. And that's a really, really good hip opener and an opener for the lower back. Then I'm coming back down, resetting a little bit, still sitting down nice and deep in that squat. Now I've got my right hand under my right big toe and I'm twisting to my left, looking up with my left hand and again, controlling my breathing. And come back. Hey, come on, guys. Good work. I'm gonna open up my camera here a little bit so that I can see a few more of you. Yeah, there we go, that's what I'm after. Good stuff, guys. All right, let's grab our mini band. Grab your mini band. We've got our crab walk with our mini band. We've got two by, we're gonna do one set, probably one set of 10, so chuck it around your ankles. Chuck it around your ankles. If you don't have the band, you can still do this, remember. It's gonna have a little bit of resistance. Probably around your ankles, girls. I can see a couple of you there with it around your knees. Chuck it around your ankles. Um, it just changes up. Just makes the resistance a bit heavier. Um, makes it a little bit harder for us, which is good. So again, we're sitting down in that sort of athletic stance, like a defensive stance. You can have your arms wide if you want. And we're just gonna step out. I've only got space to do five to my right. So I'm gonna go five to my right here. Four, five, and then five back to my left. Good stuff. Good job, Cody. Good job, Zach. Bend your knees, Zach. Sit down nice and low, mate. We're not standing up. Here we go. Okay. So I don't want to see you up straight. 
Let's go down for another five. You guys can do 10 at your own pace now. You guys know how to do this one. Really good glute activation, getting our legs nice and warm, ready to go for our next exercise. Okay. Good stuff, chuck the mini band off. And we are gonna need the mini band again, so I'm gonna leave that down on the ground, that won't get in the way. All right. Uh, sorry, no, we're gonna chuck the mini band now up around our knees. My, my mistake, I forgot. We go with our mini band squat. So again, we're, we're working on week, uh, week two now. So we're gonna do two sets of six. Last week it was five, this week it's six. With our squat, we want feet, hip distance, shoulder distance apart. I'll go side on, okay? We're going for six. Two sets, you guys can do these at your own pace. I'm gonna go slow down. So that's a nice little trick. A little bit of extra resistance for you guys is to change the time and how slowly we go down, okay? So that control is really powerful there, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one on the way down. Hold for a count and explode up. All right, three, two, one. Sit in that bottom position, load up. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Hold, load up. That's three, we've got three to go. Three, two, one. Load up. Excellent, guys, good job. Two more. Do these at your own pace if you like, if you know what you're doing. The form looks really good there, guys. Well done. Last one for me. And up. Okay. Again, I forgot to mention, make sure you've got a drink bottle if you need a break. Grab your drink bottle. When you're ready and you've had a quick breather, have at least got a 30 second breather and then do your second set. Good job. Toby's in the gym today. Good stuff, Toby. That's a, that's a good gym. All right, go guys. Second set. Good job, Sarah. Here we go. Good job, Kate. Good, good. Liam, I can see Liam there. Big Liam from the 18th, mate. Grab, grab a dumbbell if you need it. If you've got one nearby, if you've got a dumbbell or kettlebell. All right, okay. Just if you've got it and you want some extra resistance, mate. No, I was doing it anyway with the kettlebell. Oh, yeah. Oh, good man. Zach, just make sure you get a, your feet a little bit closer together, mate. You're going with a bit of a sumo squat there. You're going out a bit wide, which is okay. Or we just want to sit back, sit our hips back a little bit and chase. Chase your squat. You're going a little bit too much hip hinge. So you're sort of, your chest is pointing to the ground. We want to bring those, we want to sit your bum down like you're sitting on an imaginary chair and try and point your chest forward a little bit. Everyone else is looking really good. Zach, make sure you, yeah. Keep your toes pointing. Yeah, that's not too bad. Good job. All right, excellent, guys. If you've done your second set, perfect. Now we're coming down to the ground to do our glute bridges. So if you're on hard, if you're on a hard surface, get your yoga mat, um, get your mat or whatever you need. If you're on the carpet, no stress. You need a little bit of space if you're doing this together with a with a brother or sister. So keep your band around your knees. Yep, keep your band there. <laughs> Poor sisters, they're not quite done with the band. Good stuff. All right, so we're on the ground. Oh, geez, that's an ugly mug in your video, Zach. Don't know about that bloke. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, again, with this one, when we're lying back flat, we've got our feet flat on the ground. You want to be able to sort of twist your side and just sort of touch the back of your heel. Just touch your Achilles. So, sort of going from side to side. That, that's how you know your feet are about the right distance um, away from your bum. Okay, if your feet are too far out like this, okay, my knees are just gently sort of bent, I'm not gonna be able to reach my heel. See how I can't reach my heel like that? So you wanna, I can't reach my heel there. So you wanna bring them in a little bit, get them nice and straight, under, get them nice and under, under your knees. From there, we're gonna push straight up into our glute bridge. So we're pushing our hips up to the roof, Okay, this one we're gonna do two sets of eight. Okay, so we're doing an extra two reps this week. We've still got our band on, so we're driving our knees apart, activating glute knee. Let's go for eight. So push up explosively and then down slowly. Control your breathing. So breathe out on the way out. 
and in on the way down. Good job, guys. So two. Keep working up. Squeeze your, squeeze your bum muscles and down that three. Good job. Push up. There's four. And then come back down. Halfway. We're doing eight. Squeeze up. And then slowly back down, driving these apart. Good. Up. Two to go. Slowly back down. Up. And slowly back down. Good job, guys. Last one. Up. Hold the count and slowly back down. Excellent. Don't move too far. Grab a breather. Just have a rest. Stay where you are. We've got one set to go. One set to go, though. So have about 20, 30 seconds rest and then do your second set of eight. Really good, guys. Excellent. Good job, Chase. Well done, mate. Oh, he's outside. Must be freezing. Ooh. Good job, Sarah. Just bring your heels in a little bit, Sarah. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. That's a bit better. Yep. Yep, that's good. Yep. That's a bit better angle. Good job. Good job, yep. Some of you guys have got much longer arms than me. Uh, <laughs> you, you might be able to reach your heels a bit easier than I can when you're, uh, when you're lying down there. So I just want to make sure when we come to the top of that, um, movement that we've got our heels not too far out from underneath our knee there. Okay, let's get our second set of eight going, guys. If you haven't done it already, second set of eight. If you've done that, grab a quick breather, have a drink. And then we're into our split squat or our lunge. Ah, sorry, we're into push up. Push up. Why do I keep skipping my head? Getting ahead of myself. So again, we're not going to need our band for this one. We're down into push-up. We're into two reps, uh, two sets of as many reps as possible. Okay, so we're going to, uh, I think we all sort of kept the count of our best last week. I got 20 was the best I could do. I don't know if anyone beat 20. I think someone got 18. So we'll go through really quickly the, the three versions. Don't feel as though you have to, I want you to challenge yourself, but there's no, um, there's no, worst version of a push-up, okay? They're all really good. You're not competing against anyone else. You're just trying to compete against yourself yesterday, basically, or yourself last week. That's all we're trying to improve on. So three types of a push-up. We can do on all fours, okay? When I say all fours, what I mean is my hips are directly over my knees, okay? So I haven't locked my hips in yet. My hips are over my knees. And again, I'm bringing, I'm bringing my elbows pretty close to the side of my body but I've got my hands underneath my shoulders. So I'm on all fours like that. I make a nice square there, here, between my, my body and the ground. I'm bringing my chest down to the ground, but my bum stays in the air, okay? That's, we're working with about 30% of our body weight there for that type of push-up. That's okay. The next version, so sort of next, next toughest, I guess, in terms of body weight percentage that you're lifting, is you would, you would slide your knees back, and see now my hips are locked in. Okay, my feet are still, my feet are still, my knees are on the ground still, but my hips are locked in. Okay, and again, my elbows are sort of gliding by my side. All right, not too, not going too wide, and I'm bringing my chest to the ground. When I mean my elbows are gliding by my side, what I mean by that is the movement is from here, and my elbows slide like this. They're not going out like that. Okay, we're trying to avoid too much of that movement and sort of too wide with our arms at this point. Just trying to keep our elbows a little bit closer, our arms a little bit closer to our center of gravity. And obviously the last version that we've got is up on our toes. Okay, so again, we're in a full plank here. You may start on your toes and do five and then do another five on your, on your knees with your hips locked in. I don't mind. Whatever you've got to do, just challenge yourself, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do two sets. Then uh, after our second set, we're gonna, you can turn your mics on and yell out your score, okay? Here we go, I'm gonna try and beat 20. When you're ready, off we go. One, two, good job. Three, four, five. You got any clap push-ups, Liam? What do you reckon? Come on, big guy. Good job. Good job, girls. 
four sisters there. Looking good. Well done. Good stuff. Seventeen. Eighteen. Oh. Nineteen. Twenty. Oh, I'll try and get a few more. Oh, they're not pretty. Oh. All right. Okay, have a breather. We've still got one more set. Oh, 22. I'm going to struggle to beat that. Good job. Well done, Cody Lee. Have a quick breather. When you're ready, get into your second set. Second set, as many as you can do. All right, here we go. I'm trying to watch you guys, but also not, not cheat and not do my second set as well. Here we go. Toby, you going? Kate, or are you already done your second set? Good job, Sarah. That's really good. Let's go. Second set. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be a struggle. Get up your fangs. Oh, struggle street, that one. 15, how do we go? If you've done your second set, chuck your microphone on. Real quick, tell me how many you got. 25. 25, Chase. You're 35. 35. Oh, you weigh like 10 kilos. 10. 20. Good job, Cody. How'd you go, poor sisters? Who won who won the who won the battle of the sisters there? Um, yeah, no. I did 20. Oh, well done. Good stuff. All right, guys. Excellent. Grab a quick drink and we've got uh, our split squat. Quick drink if you've got one. Take your arms out if you need to. Oh, I certainly need to. Okay, split squat. So we've got eight. So eight on each leg. So we know our split squats. This is another fancy name for our lunge. Um, again, I like to start from the ground up. So I like to get into this similar position we had for our uh, Achilles, uh, Achilles mobility. Do a tongue twister. Same position we have here. Again, I like to have my knee directly over me, uh, over over my heel. Um, but some of you might like to have it, your heel a little bit closer um, so that your knee's actually going over your toe a little bit. I don't mind a little bit of shin angle here. I don't mind it. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight, but ideally, we'd be like this. Okay, we're going to do eight on each leg. All right, so I'm going to start from the ground up. Here we go. One. Come back down, tap your knee, but don't rest. Two, three, four, five. Try and keep your back straight, so don't lean too far forward. So don't, don't do like this. Try and stay straight up here. You'll feel a little bit more stretch in your, in your back hip flexor. Good job. Excellent, that's perfect. Okay, that's eight for me, I'm swapping legs. Tap that knee down. Got a bit of shin angle myself there. You can see it, that's the beauty of the, uh, filming these sessions as well. You can sort of chip see your own camera, hopefully as well, and you'll be able to start to identify when you're doing things. You'll start to identify the proper form and things like that, which is really, which is really good instant feedback for us. Well done, guys. Okay, that's our first set. Second set of eight. Have about 20 seconds, 30 seconds break. 
Another really good trick with that one, just while you're grabbing a quick rest. Obviously, we're loading through this front leg, okay? So a lot of what we're doing is trying to load up the quad, the quadricep muscles, the front of our thigh here. But we can get a really good burn and some activation in our back glute. All right, sounds funny, but if I come down here and I'm sort of in this lunge position just for a second, and I make sure I squeeze that back glute, as you come up, you'll really be able to, you'll really be able to feel that burn as you come up, okay? And we should be making sure our back leg stays really active as well. Because obviously when we go into a sprint, that back leg is the one we're pushing off with and that's, that's gonna be really powerful there. All right, let's do our second set of eight here. Again, try and make sure, I don't mind a bit of shin angle, but Chase, I can see you right now. You're moving across the camera like this. You're going a little bit through forward and back. I want you to go a little more up and down. Okay, so you might need to just push, move your leg forward a little bit. Here we go, eight on each leg. Again, starting to feel the burn a little bit at the top of our knee here. Those muscles that support our kneecap and our and our tendons of our knee getting stronger as we go through. Good work, guys. And again, if you've got any older kids, I know we've got Liam, you can load this. You can begin to load it in the front here with a, a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Or if you've got two dumbbells, you can start to load it. Remember to keep progressive overload. Don't, don't, be, get, don't be getting too silly with it. Here we go. Left leg now for eight. Good job. Once you've done your eight, have a breather, drink. We're nearly there. Okay, we've got planks. We've got two sets of 60 seconds for our planks. Two sets of 60 seconds. If you're doing this in your own time at home, um, you can do this program <coughs> twice a week comfortably. Uh, as it's, it's mostly body weight. Make sure you are paying attention to the rest. Paying attention to the rest periods there. They're there for a reason. There is a science behind that. Um, so make sure you are sort of timing your rest and, uh, and, and getting as much recovery in between sets as you can. All right, here we go with our plank. Get my timer. We're nearly done, guys. Nearly there. Plank and then calf raises to finish off. All right, 60 seconds. Let's get down into that position for a plank. So again, here, we're either on our forearms here. So we're right down nice and low. I don't want to see bums in the air. I don't want to see hips sagging towards the ground. If you want to do them in a push-up position on your hands for a bit of an extra challenge, a bit of shoulder stability, you can. Totally up to you. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go for 60 seconds. Again, this is a really good opportunity to work on your breathing. So often when we do these exercises, we, we just sort of hold our breath. We come into a holding pattern and it's just no breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Keeping your core engaged and switched on the whole time. <clears throat> Squeezing your glutes as well. They're supporting your lower back. Good stuff, guys. We've got 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Stay strong there. Good job. If you need to come down and then come back up, that's fine. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. You're gonna have about thirty seconds rest. We're gonna go again. Give yourself a breather. Grab a drink if you've got it nearby and you need it. Really good. So again, if you can see yourself, depending on what device you're on, there's an option to click the two little two little buttons on top of each other. 
that'll be so that you can always see me and you can always see yourself. Okay, it is really good to be able to watch yourself in the camera on the screen, going in five seconds here, to see if your back's staying straight. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last 60. Here we go. Come up, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Well done. Good job, Chase. Good job, four sisters. Well done. Most of the other people are just <laughs> Good. Lock that core in, Zach. Good job, mate. Stay strong. Oh. 30 seconds down. Again, if you can look sideways and you can see yourself, it'd be a really good opportunity for feedback. Instant feedback on how your form's looking. Start to learn what the triggers are. Start to learn how you feel under fatigue. Come back to your breathing. 15 seconds. Ooh, good job. Five seconds. Keep working. We're nearly there. Three, two, one. Come down. Well done, guys. Awesome work. Ooh. Oh, my core, my shoulders and my core. Well done, guys. Okay. Excellent. So we finish off with our calf raises. Finish off with our calf raises here. So we're up, we're up from last week. We're doing 20 on each leg. Oh, sorry, 20 total now. So last week, most of you guys, I think we did two feet at once. All right. Um, I'm going to give you guys the option. If you want to do one leg at a time, that's fine as well. Okay. So this really ties in well. Um, with, our, uh, with our, our testing that we do when we return to the court. A lot of it was sort of calf raise, uh, muscular endurance on our, on our calves as well. So we're working on this here. If you want to do one leg at a time, totally up to you. If you want to do two, that's fine. If you're doing one leg at a time, it's going to take you double the amount of time, obviously. So we're doing, we're doing sets of 20. We're just going to do two sets of 20 here. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do I'll do one leg at a time and I'll, I'll push through them pretty quickly. Everybody up, finishing off. We can use a wall or a couch or whatever you've got nearby for a bit of balance. You don't want to hold on to anything, pulling yourself up, but if you can get to a wall or something to help you balance. Poor sisters. Don't worry if you go off screen, just go to a wall wherever you can. All right, here we go. I'm going 20 on each leg. So we're coming up into a calf raise, up onto our tippy toes, back down. There's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Good. That's it, Zach. Yep. Keep your leg, keep your legs straight. Nine, ten, and you're just coming up on your tippy toes. Then twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good job, guys. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Excellent. Again, so if I come to the camera a little bit here. We're just keeping that leg locked in. Uh, keeping that leg locked in. Okay, so nice and stiff. You've got the other leg off the ground. Okay, if you're doing single leg and you're just pushing up onto the ball of your foot. As high as you can go onto your tippy toes and then coming back down. Okay, I'm doing 20 on my left leg now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. If you want to do it without hands on the wall, six. That's awesome as well. Seven, that's good. Really good proprioception, especially if you're in bare feet. Eight, nine, ten. Even if you've got the wall nearby, you just have it there if you think you're going to fall. Seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good job. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, awesome, guys. We've got two sets of those. I'm going to do both legs at the same time in the second set. That's starting to burn. Okay, so we want progressive overload through this. Okay, and what I mean by that is progressively challenging ourselves. Okay, so if you did both legs last week, we're already overloading a little bit because we've gone from 15 reps to 20. Okay, so we don't have to overdo it here. Um, we're already overloading with five extra reps in each set. But if you feel like you need the challenge of going one leg, um, maybe just for one set like I am, that's fine as well. So again, two feet at once. I'm gonna do two feet. You guys can do one at a time if you like. Here we go. 
One, two, three. Let's go. Second set. Four, five, six, seven. Good job. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, good job, 18, 20. Excellent, guys. Finish off, finish off your 20 if you're doing two legs at once. One leg, you might still be going. Everyone else has got a spare second. We're going pretty well for time. We can quickly just have a look at our foam rolling. If you've got one, if you don't, we can just do some stretching. So again, foam rolling. I like to make sure we get into our glute. Give our glute some love, okay? So again, if I'm doing my right glute, I'm sitting my right glute right on the roller, okay, right on the sort of uh, the mound that we want there. And my right foot or my right ankle is coming up and resting on my left, behind my left knee on my left quad. And I'm just rolling back and forth, opening up that hip a little bit. Okay, swap legs. So now if I'm doing my left glute, I roll to my left side and I've got my left glute on that roller, and now I've got my left leg up behind my right knee. And I'm going back and forth here. Good job. There you go, man. There you go, that's the exact. And then you get that one up there, perfect. And then get that right, yep, that's the one. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Good job. Good, guys. Okay, we can do our ITB as well. I'm not going to go through all of these with you, but ITB down the side, right down the side of our uh, upper leg here. So again, we'd be in like a side plank type of a position and we're just rolling back and forth. I'll move back a little bit. Just see me here from the, from the side of our knee up to our hip, basically on the side there like that, all the way down to the side of your knee. Exactly. So start it just below your hip. Yep, that's the one. And all the way down, that's it, good job. If that's too harsh, if that's too painful, you can bring that leg over, take a little bit of weight off, make sure you do the other leg, swapping sides, back and forth on the other side, and then probably the last one we do focus on for foam rolling would be our calves. And again, you can stack your feet, stack your ankles on top of each other, roll back and forth up and down that calf, you can go side to side, so like rolling your, your calf muscles over the top of the roller. Again, make sure you're swapping legs. Very good. Very good. Excellent. And a couple of stretches you can do. Again, we can do a glute stretch. So similar to how we set up on our roller, you know, if, I'm, if I want to stretch my right glute, I've got my right ankle on my left knee and I might just pretzel. So what I mean by pretzel is I create that gap here. You can see that gap where my hand's coming through and waving at you now. That's where my hand would come through and grab the top of my shin or my, my just below my kneecap and I'm rolling back. Okay, if you don't want to do that one, again, you can keep your knee on top of your ankle and just hands on the ground and just sit up like so and rock back and forth. That's a good one as well. Okay, other leg. That's a good one, just like we're foam rolling, but now we're focusing a bit more on stretching. And then probably just good good idea to do some calf pumps. So again, up against the wall and just a little bit of dynamic bending and straightening of those knees leaning into the wall. So we're just getting the blood flowing through those calf muscles because we've given them a, a decent workout. And that's the end of our session, guys. Thanks very much for joining me. Um, hopefully you guys, I hope you're tuning in. We, 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 we get, we've, got, we've got some basketball back, which is terrific. So um, I hope you guys have been watching the WNBA. Um, I've certainly been watching quite a bit of it. It's been great to see uh, as you Izzy Magdegore uh, made her debut last week and she played another great game the other day. 
Alana Smith had a career high this morning. So for you girls uh, and boys, it's, it's excellent um, to watch. Um, get, get on and then obviously the NBA starts back tomorrow morning as well. So good to have some sport back on the TV. Um, get on and watch those games. Get on and watch those, especially those Australian athletes that are playing in the WNBA. Um, and uh, I think we're still going to have uh, ben and, and Ryan, obviously Ryan and Frankston, hopefully is going to be back into Philadelphia. So um, other than that, guys, we've got our skill session tomorrow and uh, with, with Courtney Wilkins and, uh, and then we've got some other sessions. So stay tuned to the calendar, stay tuned to the Blues from Home website. Um, and I'll see you guys again soon. See you, everyone. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. Right, Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Good on you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Oh, the chat's going. Oh, see you later. See ya. Guys, good on you. Oh, 29. Okay, well done. Thanks, Cody Lee. Good on you. Good on you, Taylor. See you later. Thanks for that. Thanks, Cody. See you, mate. Good on you. Good work. See you later, guys.